Hello and welcome back to Oblivion. I'm back here in the Anvil Mages Guild. I hope I can help. I just came here to do some Good that you want to get better training. I figure I, I want more training in alchemy. Let's see if we. I can show. I can show you some new. Let's see. I'll put four points in the alchemy. That'll bring me up to twenty, which is still not very high. Uh, and. Good day. Good that you want to get better. One point in destruction, why not? Let's see if we can't teach you a thing. Okay, that's all I can do this level. Just wanted to do that before I level up again. Uh, now... We're gonna try this, uh, Brotherhood Betrayed quest. Uh, I gotta talk to the merchants and innkeepers in Bruma. Find out about this vampire hunter. Uh, her husband was a suspected vampire. Let's um, wait till morning. Who was murdered by this so-called vampire hunter. And uh, we gotta get to the bottom of this. This vampire hunter just kind of showed up in town and was like, yep, this guy is a vampire. And for some reason, the guards believed him. And now he's dead. What? Rain Eldrelas, tell me about him. Ah, you mean that vampire hunter? He's staying over at Olav's Tap and Tack. It's near the city gates. You can't miss it. Got it. Let Do me I... take a look at what you've got. Okay, I don't need to repair anything. Be seeing. Olav's tap and tack. That should be down here. I thought it was. Ah, okay. Further ahead, yeah. Hiya. What can I do for you today? Uh, know anything about Brayden Lyrian? I know I may be out of line by saying this, but I think the city guards may be wrong. It's hard to imagine Brayden was a vampire. I think I, I believe you. I saw him outside in the daylight before. Unless he just got that disease very recently, I'd say they were mistaken. When I heard Rainil killed him, I didn't know what to think. But after your visit here, I'm beginning to wonder. Okay, tell me about Rainil. I usually don't give out that kind of information, especially to people I don't know. Uh, come on, you're the only one that's suspicious about this uh, whole vampire thing. Yes? I'm trying to get to the bottom of this. You can help me. You like coercion? And jokes. I'm not by- Yes? <laughs> you're pathetic. Shut up. Oh, you don't like admiration. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're full of it. Don't be- I accept. I have no choice. Ah. Uh. Sure, that's- You're pathetic. I accept. I doubt you really mean that. I mean it. Not bad. <laughs> You're full of it. Ikes, don't be silly. Yeah, yes, I do. You're pathetic. <laughs> no more. Don't be silly. Can I get you above 70? Blah, blah, blah. What a bore. I doubt. No, not bad. <laughs> not I see. All right, tell me about Raynal now. Raynal is staying in the last room down the hall upstairs. Here's the key. Oh, thank you. He gave me the key, I too. I like Brayden and Arlene. 
They were a nice couple. I hope you get to the bottom of this, because I don't believe he was a vampire either. Well, you could have helped me without charging me, but... What can I do? I offer the finest goods and lowest prices in all Cyrodiil. No, you don't, actually. Just look for me if you need anything else. Here we go. Anyone home? I've entered Raynal's room. I should carefully search the place for anything suspicious. It's not like there's much here to search. He's got a journal. Drawers with nothing interesting. Gelliborn's journal. I've discovered a small journal in Raynal's room at the inn. It seems he was part of a group of adventurers who uncovered an artifact of some sort from some alien ruins. They all agreed to stash the artifact in a cave until more research could be done about it. Each of them took a key to the chest it was secured in. The two other members of the group were Brayden and someone named Gelliborn. I need to find out more about Gelliborn to confirm my suspicions about Raynal. Olav may be able to help. Yeah, I knew it. They knew each other beforehand, and he had a some kind of beef with them. He or wanted that key. We concocted some wacky story about him being a vampire. The eighth day has passed, and still there's no sign of the artifact. We covered most of the remainder of the outer guard tower, and scoured the crumbled gatehouse ruins, but not one clue has arisen as to where it may have been buried. It's quiet out here, as if the ruins were paying respects to the alien inhabitants that disappeared here long ago. We haven't encountered anything hostile, but if we do, I think we're ready. The Brotherhood's been in worse scrapes before. Braden paid good money for the information as to our treasure's whereabouts, and I hope it doesn't turn out to be yet another fiasco. This morning our camp was set upon by some bandits who were protecting what they claimed was their territory. Considering that we were outnumbered three to one, we did very well. Only Raynal suffered a small wound, but that was easily healed by a potion that Brayden had thoughtfully brought with him on our expedition. After getting rid of the bandits' corpses, we set out to tackle the largest part of the ruin, the remains of the Great Keep. Two of the walls of the once mighty structure were collapsed, scattering the telltale whitish rock, so typical of the alien architecture in this part of Tamriel. This made our assault on the ruin difficult, as many of the larger chunks of the wall were far too heavy for us to move. Braden suggested that we search the center of the building's foundation for any underground entrances, which was typical for this type of keep. His guess paid off, and after several hours of backtracking, uh, backbreaking work, we managed to clear an opening just large enough for us to squeeze through and enter an ancient stairwell leading down into the ground. We decided to wait until morning's light to begin our descent into the depths of the ruin. After a restless, restless sleep, all of us were quite excited at the prospect of what might lie ahead. Eagerly, we dipped our torches in fresh, a fresh container of pitch, lit them, entered the inky blackness of the stairwell. The stale air was choked with dust and fine grit, a sign that no one had entered this portion of the ruins in a very long time. We became excited, as that meant no other tomb robbers had gotten there before us. The stairwell eventually leveled in, out into a corridor of sorts that snaked its way to the north as we carefully walked along. I scanned the floor and walls very carefully for any type of triggers, trap, triggers, trip wires, uh, whoops, or pressure plates, such as was my, such was my specialty. The Iliad were well known for the cunning traps protecting their tombs, and I wasn't taking any chances. Brayden, the scholar of the Brotherhood, was getting more and more excited as we traversed the passage. He was translating the wall carvings, and was becoming certain that we had finally found the true location of our prize. After walking for several more minutes, we were overjoyed to see what we were hoping to see. The hallway ended at a metal door with the carving of a spider upon it. Now came the true test of Brayden's information. The door supposedly had a puzzle lock. By pulling the spider legs in a certain combination, it would unlatch. The wrong combination would spell our deaths, perhaps triggering a collapse of the hallway or some other equally deadly trap. With a shaky hand, I pulled the legs one by one in the order I had memorized. 
the sixth one, then the first one, then the second one, then the eighth one, finally the first one again. I closed my eyes as there were a few, a few loud clicks and then the door popped open. We all breathed a sigh of relief. Pushing open the door, I looked in a huge room with a pedestal at the center. How much longer is this? Um, fitting on the pedestal illuminated by a shaft of sunlight from a tiny hole in the ceiling was our prize. The floor was covered in a huge magic mosaic of stylized spider, all eight of its legs coming to a point and ending up at the door entrance. This was the last of the traps the aliens left behind to protect their treasure. Again, if it hadn't been for Brayden's skill at acquiring information, we may never have known how to solve this last line of defense. I instructed Brayden and Raynal to remain at the entrance and to tie a rope around my waist in case of a sudden pitfall. Carefully, I began to walk on the darkness, darkened tiles that formed the third leg of the spider. Sweat beaded on my forehead as the pathway made by the tiny pieces of ceramic was very narrow at the start, and one slip could again mean instant death. But death never arrived. The information had been correct, and I was able to make it to the pedestal and secure the artifact. Quickly as possible, we made our way back out. This must have been a big, a large room they were in. Um, made our way back out and into the daylight. Once again, the Port Brotherhood was triumphant, and it was time to return home. At the tavern that night, we decided to make a pact. We would stash the artifact in a cave not far from Bruma until we researched it further. An item of its magnitude could be very dangerous if mishandled, and we certainly didn't want to sell it without understanding its true value. Brayden agreed to contract a local cooper to construct a chest with three locks. Each of us would hold a key to one of the locks, so none would have access to the artifact without the others being present. For the rest of the evening, we drank merrily and sang many a song of adventures past and adventures to come. <sighs> All right. Is this guy dead? Hello. This, this, what's his name? Galaborn. What can I do for you today? I assume he's dead, since Raynal had the journal. Gelleborn? That's odd that you should mention that name. Raynal told me that he was the last vampire he hunted. Of course, of course. Yeah, that's right. Somewhere in Skingrad, I believe. He said he tracked Gelborn down and killed him. That's apparently why the guards trust him so readily. They had gotten word from Skingrad City Watch about Raynal and his so-called accomplishment. Uh-huh. Nothing else I can tell you about him. He comes and goes and doesn't talk to people much. Just look for me if you need anything anything else I can I've got a right. Just look for me if you need anything else. Let's take a nap. Why not? Uh, you gain experience more quickly. Rested XP. Hello there. Oh. What is it now? There's people in here. Don't you think Hafid Hollow Leg? I got fifteen hundred rex rested XP. Hafid. Hi. What? Rumors? Hey. Yes, I am the hero of Kavach. I'm Hanmund. I'm a prospector. Alga's my woman, Nord style. None of that chapel wedding nonsense. Right. Tell me about Bruma. Plenty of mineral deposits in the Gerald Mountains. I'm out for weeks at a time by myself, but I don't mind it. How do you haul all that back? Take Annoying care. Creature. Or do you work for someone else? Hi there. Olga. I'm Olga. I'm a bard and a speechcraft trainer. Hanmund is my live-in partner. No offense, You're Hanman's but I woman. don't want to hear about any Mara Mother Mild and Chapel family business. Hanmund and I live together in the old Nord way. Good enough for my fa and ma, and good enough for me. Hey, that's fine by me, Bruma. Bruma's a funny place, 
half Cyrodiil and half Skyrim. I'm Old Nord all the way. I keep the old songs and stories alive. I like the way you do things, Nord woman. You've got a lot to learn. I know. Goodbye. But I can't train anymore. Yes. Well, I am off to Skingrad, I think. The innkeeper, Olav, told me that Gelleborn was slain in Skingrad by none other than Raynel. As with Brayden, Raynel claimed Gelleborn was a vampire. I think Raynel's using the vampire as a cover story to get the keys to the chest where they stashed the artifact. No. Really. I think it's time to speak to Carius Renalus about Raynel. He must be stopped. Oh, so we're not going to skin grad, huh? Today's your lucky day, so let's hear it. Afternoon. Hello. I have information. Hello. Carius. So, any new revelations in your mm, investigation? I don't like your tone, Galaborn. How do you know about that? Oh, too many people don't know how to keep quiet about official matters. Very well. The Skingrad City Watch informed us that Galaborn was killed by Raynal not too long ago. Galaborn was a vampire as well, obviously. Obviously. I disagree. What do you mean you disagree? That's a bold statement. What proof do you have that Gelleborn was not a vampire? What proof do you have that he was a vampire? Then don't go around flinging accusation and hearsay. If you dare accuse someone of a crime, you must have the proof to back it up. Now, if you believe what you're saying is true, go get me the proof. What? Okay. So... Any rumors? The Fighters Guild has managed to recruit a few new members. Good thing. I'm one of them. Keep up the um, good work, I... Do you have any more questions? I'm afraid I know little more. Any rumors? I've heard that Jantus Brolus is skilled with both magic and steel. Cool. I know I sound... Okay, I gotta find this proof. And I think that means going to Skingrad. She can spin a yarn. Okay, I think I screwed up. I never actually picked up the journal. So? I read it, but never picked it up. I think that's what I need. They say the day to give to the to give to what's his face as evidence. Uh, I went back to Skingrad. I thought I could find some evidence there, but I couldn't find anything. I'll just cut that part out. Just me running around Skingrad. So we'll see if this works. So, any new revelations in your mm, investigation? Again, not liking the tone here. What proof of your outlandish accusations have you brought me? I have Gelborn's journal. I I don't know what to say. It all makes perfect sense now. Why else would Raynal have removed this journal from the crime scene in Skingrad? I heard no mention of a key either. It must have been removed by Raynil from Brayden's body before we arrived. To think that two innocent men were killed, and that I'm responsible for one of their deaths, I... Your stupidity. I will rouse the guard and begin a search for him in the city. Meet me at Olev's Tap and Tack in one hour. Alright, we're gonna hunt for the hunter. The hunter becomes the hunted, I guess? The wannabe vampire hunter? Not really want to be, but uh, all I have is tap and tack. Let's go. Go ahead. I'm listening. Do Just before I arrived here, I received a report from one of our scouts watching the roads. Did you find him? Raynal was spotted heading west out of Bruma. The scout tried to follow, but lost him in the mountains. The only cave to the west that comes close to the one described in Gelleborn's journal is Boreal Stone Cave. That must be where he's headed. You must get there before he acquires whatever artifact is being kept there and makes his escape. I'm keeping the city guard in Bruma as Raynal doesn't know we're after him. If he sees a guard, he may panic and run. 
You're my only hope at the moment. Please, you have my authorization to do everything you can to bring him to justice. If he won't surrender, I think you know what to do. Hurry. I fear you have a day at the most to stop him. Tickle him. All right. Brayden Larian. If all you say is true, Rainil will answer for Brayden's death. Gelliborn? Rainil will pay for both crimes. Gelliborn was likely another innocent he slain. I'll make sure Skingrad City Watch hears of this. Any rumors? Did you ever hear about the ghost of Lord Vlindrol? They say he haunts the road. Oh, yeah. Not that I've ever seen him myself, mind you. I gotta find that ghost. Sounds like it could be interesting. Raynal? I can't wait to get my hands on Raynal. He'll become very familiar with Bruma's dungeons, or the end of my blade if he doesn't come peacefully. Man, if I were in charge, I would relieve this guy of duty. It is dangerous having him in charge of the uh, city watch here. Yes. So, gullible. Just come in here and start murdering people. But they're vampires. Oh, okay, well, it's fine then. Where's this cave? West, Boreal Stone Cave. All right, there's no, um, no road leading there. No, there is, maybe. Oh, there you are. Yeah. Nice. Got to try out my new katana. Through my caverns. That's not what I was looking for. Yeah, I'll keep going. I can check the Bruma Caverns later. Here we are, the Jarala Mountains. Dear. Sorry, dear. More caves and points of interest on the way. I'm going to skip them all for now. Oh, there's a... Uh, alien ruin there as well. Well, I know what I'm doing after I'm done with this quest. A dog. Not a wolf. What is this? Capstone cave? And I think that's Cloud Ruler Temple up there. I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we discovered the Aeliad Ruin. I'll be coming back here later. Something moving up there. What is it? It's an arrow. 
I'm on hunting. Oh yeah, someone is hunting. Hey buddy. Imperial Legion Legion Forester got stuck on a rock. Alright. Oh, there's a farm here too. Lettuce. Radish. Apple Watch Farmhouse. All right. Another little thing for me to explore later. Back on track. Oriole Stone Cave. That's what I'm looking for. I've arrived at Boreal Stone Cave. Let's find this dude. Oh. It's flooded. Hi. Congratulations. Thank you. I had a feeling you would catch on sooner or later. Nice armor. Leaving that journal behind was a stupid mistake on my part. Rookie mistake. I saw you enter Olav's Tap and Tack before I could get there, and I knew that I had to sneak out of Bruma somehow. It was only a matter of time before you or Carius figured it out. No matter. After I've killed you, I won't need my vampire hunter ruse any longer. Well, I appreciate the exposition. You will not surrender then? Certainly not. I'm surprised Carius didn't send the entire city watch up here. But then I would have seen that coming, I suppose. I expected to lay low for a while and then be on my way. So again, I underestimated you. This leaves me with little choice. Either I fight you now and have a chance at freedom, or I surrender and rot in a city dungeon. I prefer the chance for freedom. Option B seems more healthy for you. Last chance. Yes, I suppose it is. Well then, we've talked enough. Only one of us will walk out of here alive this day. That's true. Good luck. You too. Hey, come back here. You summon Daedra armor. I've located Raynal in Boreal Stone Cave. He refused to surrender, choosing instead to attack me. I was forced to attack him to defend myself. I can now recover the artifact mentioned in Galaborn's journal from the chest. Also, new sword? Mithril, oh my god. Many new swords. Many heavy items that I can't carry. Mithril... So many keys. Raynil's key, Brayden's key, Galaborn's key. Yeah, those are all for the uh, chest there. I can carry all those. Well, most of them. I got two weapons. Moonbrand. My god. God, it's, uh... How is a one-handed sword this heavy? Okay, well... The Guardian Scimitar is slightly better than what I'm using. Same damage, but weighs one pound less. The Moonbrand sword is... Great, but it's ridiculously heavy. Alright, time to put more points in strength, I guess. Waterlogged chest. Opening the waterlogged chest with all three keys, I discover the artifact to be an amulet. It seems fairly unremarkable, and I'm sure of 
unsure of its function. I think I should bring it back to Erlene Lirian and see what she wants me to do with it. Alright, let's grab it. I guess I'll keep this ch um, this sword. Anything else down here? Potion. I think that's it. All right, let's head back to the widow. This was a uh, amulet, right? Was it a mundane amulet? Is that the one I got from the chest? I guess it was. It looks mundane. I'm sure it's uh, quite special, though. Hiya. What news do you bring? Uh, Galaborn. Yes, I remember Braden mentioning that name once. He was part of the brotherhood he had created with Raynil. Okay. Uh, Raynil. I knew I'd recognize Raynil. I think when I first met Braden many, many years ago, he introduced me to him. They were part of some sort of brotherhood. They would roam Cyrodiil in search of legendary treasures and the like. The only reason he stopped doing that is because we got married and he wanted to settle down. I'm afraid, thanks to Raynal, that time is lost. Well, tell me about this mundane amulet. Maybe it's worth something. Long ago, I made a promise to Brayden. I promised to never reveal to anyone what I'm about to reveal to you now. Oh, you're going to break your However, promise. Because you've avenged his unjust death, I feel that Braden would understand why I'm breaking that pact. Braden told me about this amulet when they first brought it home from whatever distant land it came from. He never really trusted anyone else in the group, and before he secured the treasure in that cave, he had a special enchantment placed upon it. The magic masks the true identity of the item. All it takes is a simple command word and the amulet would be restored to its true state. Aha. Uh -huh. Did the word die with Brayden? No. He always feared this day would come. He left me knowledge of that word in the event that he died, and I came into possession of the keys. And that word is if gubernatorial. If Brayden's group was still alive, and I on my Tell death, me the word. Only then would I pass the knowledge on to them. If you'd give me that amulet... I would like to show you what you've recovered. Okay, here it is. Thank you. I will now speak the word. Brother. Here is the amulet. Uh -huh. It's as beautiful as it was the day I remember seeing it long ago. I want you to keep it, as I have no use for this anymore. I'm certain that's what I want, and I'm certain that's what Braden would want. But you could sell it, I make a pretty penny. The bottom of my heart. I hope that the amulet helps keep you safe on whatever roads you may travel. All right, um, phylactery of something or other. We'll check it out in a second. I'm glad he's dead. I know that's a horrible thing to say, but I think you understand. I do. I had fun killing him, too. Justice has been done. All right. Fortify speed, seven points on self. That's not that great. If I didn't have the ring of the viper, I, I'd use it. All 
All right. Well, thank you, lady. I'm glad I was able to help avenge the death of your husband. Now let's make a quick stop over at the blacksmith or uh, arms dealer. I don't know if they're actually a blacksmith. Rest a little bit first. Well, that was a fun quest. I like that. And got a brand new sword. Again. Yep, you're a blacksmith. Go ahead, please. Ah, uh, let's do business. You can have my mithril boots, gauntlets, greaves. Uh, you can have my elven katana, I guess. I don't need that anymore. Guardian scimitar. Um, I don't know. I'll keep it. Might be nice to have a lighter weapon for now. I don't know why I'm keeping it, but I'll never need it. Thank you. Farewell. I'm going to stash it in my house. Okay, um, what other quests do I have in that area? Yeah, there was this. Oh, that's Castle Leowin. Okay, that's a whole nother thing. Yeah, I've got a lot of quests. I don't know which one to do next. Maybe more, um, Mage's Guild quests. I'm not sure that I have any more in Bruma. But I I'll look through my quests and, um find one that I can do. Maybe we'll go to another town. Oh yeah, I wanted to explore the um, some of the ruins and caves near Bruma, so I think we'll do that next time. Alright. Let me just put this away. Guardian Scimitar. Okay, good enough. Alright, so we'll do that next time. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.